Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Second Sun Woodworks. My name is Caleb and today I'm going to be showing you how I built this portable DIY workbench made with sawhorses, 2x4s, and plywood. Let's get started. I recently moved down to Santa Barbara, California from Helena, Montana to take advantage of a new day job. Uh, and as a result, I wanted to bring down as many tools as I could, but I obviously couldn't bring down the workbenches that you've seen me create on this channel. So for my first workbench in this new shop, I decided to use these cobalt collapsible sawhorses that I could create a workbench, a really simple worktop that could be taken apart, uh, taken to a job site and or stored in my shop. So after I set up my sawhorses, which is the first step in this project. I went ahead and grabbed one of the 2x4s, made sure it fit, kind of lined everything up, and then I took the second one, the third one, and the fourth one, and I pretty much just teed these 2x4s these up so that I could attach them with screws, and you'll see me do that here in a second. To attach these 2x4s together, I just used 3 inch construction screws and drilled it right through the middle uh, so that the 2x4s would be uh, connected together, like I said, like T's. Once I was finished screwing the 2x4s together, I went ahead and picked up the sheet of plywood that I had designated to use for this project, which it was from a bed frame that was in the room that I moved into in this house that I'm living down in Santa Barbara. And uh, I just assumed that it was a four by eight foot piece of plywood, but as you can see here, I'm, I'm quickly finding out that it, it's, it was not a four by eight foot piece of uh, plywood. So I had to do some adjustments and cut down those two by fours. Uh, but if you're doing this project, just use a four by eight foot piece of plywood that you can pick up at Home Depot. Uh, and, and then you can use the regular eight foot long two by fours. Once I fixed my uh, mistake or my silly assumption, I went ahead and screwed the piece of plywood to the two by fours. Uh, and uh, just went right down the line, used a Forstner bit, and then the three inch construction screws. Once I had finished attaching all the boards together, I decided to go ahead and add a handle to one of the sides of the workbench. So I marked out the spot that I wanted to cut, used a drill to cut out the corners of the square, and then I used my jigsaw to finish everything off. Uh, I ended up having to use a pull saw as well, um, but then I used some, uh, after that I used some electrical tape to wrap around the section that I would be uh, actually grabbing onto with my hand. Thank you. 
After that, the bench was complete, and you can see here that I am testing out uh, taking it apart. It's a bit heavy, but uh, you know, not too bad considering uh, all the workspace that I get from this type of bench. And you'll see here in a second that I went ahead and uh, tested putting it back together. Um, yeah, this is a pretty good project, pretty easy. Uh, it really helps if you need a space to work on. So uh, yeah, guys, I hope that you find this useful. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Second Sun Woodworks. I uh, hope that you found this video to be useful. Uh, I sure found this project to be useful and it is still useful today in my shop. Uh, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button below if you have not already done that. I put out videos on a monthly basis. I'm going to hope to uh, boost that to every two weeks um, as I get more projects. Uh, check me out on Instagram if you haven't done that. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. All right, guys, build something cool.